everybody, Dr. Kevin Hyde here with Pinellas Anxiety Specialists. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about playing with our kids and just having five tips to help improve your play experience with your kids. So as I'm sure you know, you know play is one of the most important things for our kids. And that's how they communicate, that's how they learn, that's how we help them to develop. And so it's really important that we you know, make sure our kids have ample opportunity to play and of course, some of that should be with us. And that's something that we often neglect because we're so busy, we're caught up with work, or making sure everything around the house runs smoothly. But it's really important to make sure that you have at least about 15 minutes each day of quality time with your kid. And so the first tip is give yourself permission. You know, allow yourself to forget about putting together the grocery list, to forget about cleaning up the kitchen, um, and just to really have that time be you and your kids. And the second aspect of that giving permission is give yourself permission to be a kid. You know, have that be fun for you too. Make funny voices and run after them, chase them around, get down on their level, sit on the floor and play with them. So give yourself permission to have that 15 minutes dedicated solely to them. And that could be, you know, actually scheduling that if you need to do that. And then giving yourself permission to have fun. Next, turn your phone off. You know, we're so connected to social media these days that we're always on our phone. Um, it just helps us kill that, that downtime. And it'd be really easy to be sitting with your child on the floor and checking Facebook or Pinterest or whatever it might be. So just turn your phone off. Again, have that be time for you and your child. The next thing is have that time, have your child be in control of what you do during that time. Kids are so used to being ordered around all day by us or at school, you know, told to do this, pick up that, that that time, that play time should be them in charge. So if they want you guys to, to dress up and dance around together, you know, let yourself do that. Have fun, um, to, but let them be in control. And as part of that, what can be helpful is to just comment on what you're seeing them doing without judgment. So not saying, oh, don't do that, or you're doing, no, you're doing that wrong, but just comment on what you're seeing them doing. Oh, that's an airplane. Oh, you're flying around. You're, you're a boat right now. Um, oh, look, you're, you've got a cow that's mooing. You know, just commenting on what they're doing. It shows them that you're paying attention and that you're actually focused on them. And it, it's nice for them to not feel like you're directing them again. So you know, as I said before, where you're letting them take control, if you're saying, hey, you're doing that wrong or don't do that, that's you taking back some of that control. So we really want the kid to be in charge. Obviously, we're not going to let them do something that is, you know, out of, out of line, that's, you know, uh, violating boundaries or rules. So within those typical house rules, they get to choose what activity you do. And the final thing is a technique that we call yes, but. And so what this is, is avoiding no, which is a trigger word for a lot of kids, right? You say no, you can't do something, and they melt down. So what we can say instead is yes, but we have to do this first. So say they want to watch a movie, but it's not time for that. You can say, yes, we can watch a movie, but first we have to have dinner. Or yes, we can do that, but first we have to you know, go to bed and wake up in the morning. First, we have to go you know, on a grocery trip, whatever it is. So what that does, you're still having the same effect that the answer is actually no right now, but you're not saying the word no. So they're less likely to melt down. That won't work all the time, but it reduces some of the meltdowns that, that can happen when you say the word no. All right, hope that's helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about that, I'd love for you to reach out. Um, love to be in touch. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.